you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's uh, Monday morning, July 29. 2019 and I'm headed into work for the day uh, I think it was Friday I received my balance transfer check so I um, I'm holding a little bit of credit card debt on Chase credit card so one is like an actual Chase card one is an Amazon card through Chase and I wanted to do a uh, balance transfer um, so I can move it over to a 0% uh, card so I was like, oh, let me see what I got available. So I looked at Chase. Chase said I had an offer available for a new card. And they approved me for literally exactly the amount that I had in debt. It was like 2,500 bucks. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I applied for it, waited for the card to come in the mail, got it. And I was like, all right, cool. Let me go on their website and set this up and move those funds over. Went to do it. And the... Um, I got an error message saying that I can't move Chase, uh, I can't move debt from Chase existing Chase cards or accounts to the new Chase account. I was like, I don't understand why, because I mean there would have been a fee anyway. But I'm like, I don't understand why. But okay, so I started snooping around and I was looking at some of my other credit cards and stuff, and I had an offer through City, um, CITI. It's another. Uh, existing credit card that I already hold so I called them up or actually I went on their website and, and it said that you know you have offers available so I clicked it and uh, their website wouldn't load it was throwing some sort of an error message and it said oh it's not working try again later or something like that I'm like man that's like weird what's going on with that so I kept trying it over the course of three or five days or something like that same error message every single day and, and all that I don't know what that was about so I was like, you know what, fuck it, let me call them up. Called them up, said, hey, you know, I'm trying to view my offers, I'm looking to do a balance transfer, you know, what do you guys got? And she's like, oh yeah, you're you're eligible for a balance transfer. And uh, she's like, you know, 0%, blah, 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 3% fee to, to move the funds over, like typical, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I keep talking to her, and she's like, yeah, all right, well, we'll send you the check, because my, my city credit card has a limit of like 8,500 bucks. She's like, yeah, we'll send you a check, and blah 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 and you're all set and I'm like well alright so are those like blank checks or like like what are you, what are you talking about and she's like no it's just gonna be a check for $8,500 you cash it put it put the money into your account and then um yeah and she's like yeah and then you just pay your bills with that and then uh, that's your your transfer that's how it works it's like I've never heard of doing it that way usually they send you blank checks you write the checks out to the other banks or the other whoever and uh, then it gets put on your credit card, the, the one you're, you're moving to. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, can I get less than $8,500? I'm like, that's a lot of fucking money, man. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. What, how much do you want? I'm like, um, let's do like $3,500. So she's like, all right, cool. So Friday, the check came. I still have to deposit it. But I'm like, wow, this is interesting. I've never done this before. Kind of cool. So, um... This is kind of, I got into this situation as a result of living my same lifestyle while not having many photo gigs this year. So $3,500 sounds like a lot of money, but um, it could definitely get paid off quickly if I was working more. Uh, I believe we still have a couple weddings up and coming. Uh, two or three, and I think we have at least two that haven't been paid so I, I should be okay. It's just uh, sucks. It sucks. So um, yeah, yeah. So that's the story. I'm excited to get these moved over zero percent for thirty five hundred bucks. It's gonna cost somewhere in the neighbor neighborhood of like maybe a hundred and five dollars for the fee. Um, and ironically enough, I think it was like Saturday. I received an offer from American Express. For a zero percent, it would I would have to apply for another new card, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. But that one said, and, and I didn't look too closely at it, but it said zero fee to move the the money over. I'm like, wow, I've heard of offers like that? I've never received one myself. So 
I just thought that was cool. All right, so on the agenda for today, uh, I gotta do some editing. Got to do some daily job stuff. So let's go through some um, inventory project stuff. I got some hardware I gotta install. I got some cables I need to run. Um, yeah, I also picked up a new book. So it was delivered on Saturday. Get this. And I'll explain why a little bit later, but um, this book is, it's about, it kind of teaches you about like the Book of Shadows and Wiccan herbal um, like spells and recipes and stuff like that. So when you talk about this stuff to people or mention it to people, people get really fucking weird. They're like, why do you need like witchcraft stuff and all this and all that? And, you know, hear me out, though, but if you think about it, you know, in everyone's house, and especially the older you get, people have an entire, like, shelves or drawers or whatever full of drugs. And, I mean, even, like, my Diet Coke that I drink religiously is terrible for me. And if it comes in like an official bottle and it's sold at a pharmacy, people are like, oh, it's, it's cool. But like when you talk about like learning or wanting to know about this stuff, people think like, oh my God, you know, why are you, why are you doing, why are you studying devil stuff and all that? And it's like, dude, you know, people don't even take the time to ask questions, let alone understand like what you're even talking about. But this, um herbal stuff it's literally a book that has let's say I don't know like this one might only have like a hundred different herbs but it talks about all of the different uses for each one and then of course it, it talks about like the esoteric excuse me tie-in where you know this herb is good for the moon and, and this and that and stuff like that um, excuse me but, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just amazed at, like, how weird people get over this stuff. And it's, like, interesting. So this book made a comment, and I'd have to look up the exact info or dates or whatever, but it was talking about the uh, EMA. So I think it's called, like, the American Medical Agency or something like that, but... It's um, like the, uh, the, the, I don't know, I guess like the system or the club or the uh, agency essentially that was created for like doctors. And once they were created, they kind of pushed out all of the uh, old school like, you know, herbalist or herbology and all that type of stuff. And now it's like, you know, black magic type stuff or whatever. But that's not necessarily true, you know? I mean, think back. Like, all of that stuff paved the way for modern medicine. Like, literally. You know, I was... It, 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 give me, let me give you an example. I was like, okay, you know, just as for fun, when I was sitting in the drive-thru ordering my food, stopped. I'm like, what is the history of aspirin? You know, like... How do we get to modern drugs? I mean, it's got to come from somewhere, right? So I started uh, looking into it, and it said that um, the active ingredient in willow, in willows, is, uh, I can't remember the name, it's, it's some hard to pronounce name, it starts with an A, but it's something, it's, it's a word that starts with an A, acid. And it was, it, it was derived from like willow. And they were talking about, like, willow tea. And then somebody figured out if you ground up willow bark into powder, you um, it would get the same effect. And then Bayer came around and figured out if you combine um, some other uh, uh, active ingredient with that active ingredient, that acid or whatever, that you um, it would cut down on, like, irritation and stuff like that. But, like, for, you know more than a thousand years they realized that this active ingredient cut down on inflammation 
they used to give it to um, women who uh, to, to help them deal with pain from giving birth. All these sorts of things. And it's just, it's incredible. It's amazing. And, you know, I don't know if this will ever lead to anything like me having like an herb garden so I can like make my own potions and shit, but, or recipes, but, you know, it, it, it also kind of stems to, uh, um, for a lot of things, everything, you know, spices, um, incense, and just various things, you know, I mean, even like, think about it, even like this stuff that I'm using here, it's uh, CBD oil that's, um, and I use this in traffic, it's got a, this particular one, I don't know what company she gets it from, it's, I don't think it's Rodan and Fields, but it has a, a metal roller ball, and it's a liquid in there. And what I do is I just, like, roll it on, and then I get that, like, smell, that, like, therapeutic smell. But, I mean, how long has essential oils been popular? There's literally an, uh, an oil called Thieves Oil that's supposed to keep you healthy in, um, in, in other various uh, good effects. But if you, like, study the origin of thieves oil it was supposedly some sort of a concoction that people would wear uh, or grave robbers would wear and it would keep them from getting sick from you know being around dead bodies and all kinds of other shit that they probably shouldn't have been around but i was reading this book and they have a literally an alphabetized list of all the different herbs and one it there was um i'll go over some of this stuff but one of the herbs was uh I think it was one that started with a, the letter C, but it was talking about all these effects, and it says um, that it uh, protects against thieves or this and that stuff. So I, like, looked it up, and I'm like, is that the active herb or ingredient in fucking thieves oil? So I looked it up, and sure enough, it, it is. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, we went from natural, organic, holistic, uh, whatever, to... Okay, it's cool if it's in a nice fancy bottle. This one's got a QR code on the back of it. You know. Hemp oil, it says on there. So, modern medicine has just produced this fear in everyone that has removed us just by another degree from nature. You know, all this shit exists in nature and whatever... And doesn't have all the preservatives and all the other bullshit, you know, to, to uh, allow me to have it in a bottle for a year or months or whatever it is. So, kind of interesting how all that works, but I haven't really made it very far in this book. Um, I did Google, like, Book of Shadows to understand, like, what it actually is because I had never had really heard that term before. And it says a book of shadows is basically like a book that a practicing Wiccan um, uses to write down all their experiments, to write down all of the recipes and all of their like work and stuff. And it says it's basically like a witch's diary or something. And once, um, basically said once that person dies, their book of shadows is supposed to be burned and whatever. So. Uh, I just thought that was interesting, so, but, you know, this is all, you know, this, this sort of information and knowledge used to be common practice years, years ago, you know, when we went to Hawaii, there was a, a, a video that I took of a native standing, it was at, um, uh, the Wamea, Wamea Lookout, Wamea Canyon Lookout location, and he was dressed up in traditional garb and all this bullshit, I don't trust anyone. I'm guessing it was just an act, but he made a comment. He said, yeah, me and my uh, ancestors or, or my family or whatever, we hunt this canyon. He said, there's no vehicles, there's no road access, so we got to walk it. Um, you know, we hunt uh, by, by foot with spears and bows and whatever the fuck they got. That's what he said. But he said that, you know, he knows, um, you know, different uh, medicine and different things to use with the native plants. So he'll go out and, like, look and forage for different plants and things like that, then he'll grab them and uh, bring them back home and, like, teach and show his kids, like, how to make and mix and, and do different things with them. 
and uh, this is the same exact concept and you know it went from you know using your uh, your knowledge and your surroundings and all that sort of stuff to do your own medicine and to make your own ill uh, cures and you know for ailments and stuff like that to you know let's just you know pay someone else to figure it out for us and hopefully they're making something that's good and doesn't kill us or whatever um but nothing's fresh so I just, I, I think about this stuff, you know, and I, I'm all, I, I do get really concerned about the Diet Coke thing that I, that I'm like obsessed with, you know, it's so bad that when I quit last time I had like massive headaches from withdrawal for like two weeks. That was when I first tried going keto and it's tough. It's tough. Even like, cause I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to drink Diet Coke. I'm going to do like the energy drink packets. And even when I did that, like, it's got the same fucking bold active ingredient that they warn you against, dioxa, well, I don't know what it is. Um, that ingredient or whatever is in those things, too. So it's, it's the same shit. It's different flavor. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where this this thing will take me, this this path or this little fork in the road, but I like to study different things. I like to learn, and, you know, I, I especially like the history of, like, the why and the how. Like, how did we get to this point with different medicines and things? You know, obviously, it's easier. You know, I was talking about the willow uh, was used for, like, the initial aspirin or whatever. Like, they figured out the, the medicinal properties of, of consuming that or taking that. They also were talking about... Um, how somebody, I don't know if it was, it was in the 1900s, but somebody figured out the, the composite or the chemical makeup of aspirin, so they are able to synthesize it. Well, you know, I, obviously I guess that makes it easier to make in mass quantities than having to cut down every willow tree and, and whatever, but what's the difference? You know, what, what's the um, downfall of doing it that way versus naturally? I don't know. I'm guessing it tastes a lot better to take a modern day pill than to ground up some fucking bark and lick that or whatever the fuck they do, mix it in the teas and stuff. But uh, I'll have a lot more to talk about with this as I learn more. Um, this would be one of those things where I'd have to either buy all the ingredients and try to make and mix different things and try it out myself or ultimately like have a little garden and I grow all these different things that I can pick and use and stuff so I don't know like I said I don't know if I would ever get to that stage but it's definitely fun to explore and learn about so that's it uh, like that uh, open your mouth yeah. I can see that let me see uh, open your mouth yeah. I can see that let me see you gotta put your jaw down I can't see the ah uh, 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 I can't see down there. Nothing? Yeah, I can't I can, see. I couldn't either. It's in the way. You gotta say, ah. Stick it out and say, ah. Yeah. You got your tongue up. Put it down. Like this. Huh? Yeah, like that. Like your grandpa did. And say, ah. There you go.